What is up gamers, my name is Zach Sharps from Lugo Entertainment. In the background you guys will see Darkfall Unholy Wars gameplay for that's the game I'm mainly going to be talking about in this topic video. Um, today I wanted to talk about communities and the best communities I've ran into and whether or not being a niche community versus being a mainstream community has any toll on the overall tightness of the community, whether or not the community knows each other a lot, whether or not people tend to communicate or gain reputation amongst the MMO community that they're in, um, etc, etc. So to start us off, um, Darkfall was probably one of, if not the best communities I've ever been in, um, ever played with. Uh, it's, it's really hard to describe because you have to kind of play Darkfall to get in touch with their community, but they have reputations. You know, each guild, if you join, say for example, Zerg, which is a clan that basically invites anyone in into their clan just to have more numbers, a strength and a strength within numbers sort of policy, you tend to get a lot more ganked. Um, I, my friend was in Zerg, he was wandering around and this guy randomly murdered out in the open and the guy whispered him, I wouldn't have killed you if you weren't in Zerg, you Zerg scum. And that really sets the tone. It really sets a tone that a lot of the times people will run clanless to avoid being involved with anyone's reputation because who knows which clan you're going to run into and at a given point in that game you might just be stumbling along and you know end up running into a uh, clan that you took over one of their you know fortresses a week before and they want to kill you they gain a rivalry with you they they just despise you so you know clan politics really plays a role within darkfall quite a lot and reputation of yourself does as well if you end up becoming a troll that just goes around and you know hates everyone kills everyone and just overall is not a good person you're going to have a reputation and a stigma around you people are going Going to know you people are going to hate you and people are going to hunt you as a result now darkfall as a community is not all about reputation it's all also about helping an individual out helping another friend out and the mentor system really allows that to sort of be emphasized you know with the mentor system you have at a certain level a person who not level but prowess has a person basically that it's very experienced within the game knows quite a lot about the game obviously because their prowess is at a really high point and so they put these mentors in place for new players to search for a mentor so that mentor can help them out with any questions that they have now not every mentor is great the mentors get a 10 percent prowess buff extra to what you gain so for example if you go out and you gain 7,000 prowess in a day they end up making 700 prowess and you know that doesn't really deduct anything from you it just adds to that total and gives it to them that way they get benefits for helping you out answering your questions and guiding you on a prowess grinding path that will basically not only influence their skills but also your own skills and the strength of those skills and the strength of your overall character making it a collective effort to make you a better player and also them a better mentor However, there are some mentors that just sit around and do nothing. So you can always leave your mentorship if you want. However, the more you leave your mentorships, the longer you have to wait to leave the next one. So there is chances for you to fall in a bad mix of mentors. That's definitely certain. But if it wasn't for my mentor, um, which is a fantastic player from EXE, I wouldn't have gotten as far in Darkfall as I did. I probably would have quit it a lot earlier than I ended up quitting it. Um, and I not only quit it just because, you know, it's a very hardcore MMO. I quit it mainly because I have a lot of stuff on my plate at the moment. And I also have a lot of stuff on my plate as a game reviewer in the next few months. You know, we have Heroes of the Storm, which I need, still need to do a video for. Swordsman Online, which I still need to do a video for. And there's just a lot more stuff I want to do for you guys that does not involve Darkfall. But it is an MMO that if I ever do have a drought of games and I ever do need something to play, it's a game that I would go back to in a heartbeat because it's a really great and solid MMO and it really offers more than most MMOs out there. Now, overall the community and one thing that I put in the background for you guys is an example of the friendships that you can gain within Darkfall just by going about trying to better yourself as a player within the game. There was a random player that um, just walked by us and was like, hey, you guys want to go out and prowess farm? 
and we were like okay and he started giving us gear and crafting us some weapons and giving us just a bunch of stuff and this the quality of things they weren't really that you know expensive but they were a lot higher tier he basically built us gear that was as high tier as possible for us to wear built us weapons that were the best we could wield and that made us a very you know powerful in comparison to what we used to be so we went out and prowess farm with this guy and he hopped in team speak with us basically you know talking with us about you know different ways to farm prowess and basically go about playing the game and wanting to basically make a claim with us if we ended up being you know cool with them and stuff like that and he was just an overall really nice guy he taught us a lot about the game and basically explain to us uh, a lot of simulator simulators that you can draw from other games in, within Darkfall. So we went out hunting and after a while we ended up having to go bank our stuff. So we went to go bank our stuff and he asked us why haven't you ganked us ganked me yet? I'm all alone. The three of you are here. You could easily kill me. And we're like was that a test that you just wanted to go out and farm you know ogres with us and see whether or not we would gank you and he was like yeah i honestly was testing you guys seeing whether or not you would gank me that way i could see whether or not you guys are worth being with and that was really strange for me because he went out in fine um gear you know not really anything fancy he went out with um i believe it was a valerian bow i want to say yeah yeah i think it was so his gear wasn't really that loaded it wasn't really that special but what that basically shows is the amount of you know generosity within the community because this is a random guy saw me and my friend dueling in um the main city sanguine at least one of the main cities the most popular city sanguine and he just walked up to us and asked us a couple questions and wanted to go out and help us and he expected us to kill him because we were a pack of people as three people versus one and we ended up dueling each other because he was like i want to duel you guys anyways i want to see whether or not you guys have been able to kill me if it was basically brought as an opportunity to you guys i want to see whether or not you know i was right in trusting you that i could kill all three of you just in case you were to jump me which you guys ended up not doing and we actually ended up beating me i ended up dying um one of my buds kim's there ended up dying and my friend zach finished him off so he killed two of us got one of us to half health and then died so we would have been able to take him but he did a lot of casualties so it would have not really been worth it because we all would have had to walk back claim the loot and you know be on, be basically done with that but the amount of trust he basically put in us which wasn't really too much as i mentioned with the gear that he had and stuff like that or didn't have um was still substantially more than say in world of warcraft that they implemented a hardcore pvp rule where if you die you lose all your stuff you want to see people going out and helping people in world of warcraft because it's more of a mainstream game and when you look at niche communities versus mainstream you end up getting a lot more host um hospitality i mean host hostility not hospitality um it's so when you get this host um hospitality god damn it when you get host I'm not even going to I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. When you get people who are more hostile towards you, you end up basically creating a more isolated environment for you to game in. You get lack of community within a mainstream game because there's just more people. So the any points when there's more people, you you become more isolated because you can't know everyone. You can't learn all the communities. You can't get in touch with all the guilds because there's just not enough time for you to and there's not enough brain capacity for you to i mean just just think about whether or not you would go out and think and learn about all the guilds within world of warcraft for example there's thousands of guilds there's so many guilds so many guilds there's really no benefit to be in a guild other than the perks that you get from like um, xp gain and you know stuff like that it's just there it's there to create a community and most of the time it's there for people to reap taxes rewards so on and so forth basically people trying to take advantage of the community it's not really anything that's there for you to build a unit of people to go out and siege a castle or take over a city so on and so forth i mean you could do that but you can't really take over stormwind there's just no way to you could go kill everything and you know sit there forever and ever but eventually your whole your attack is going to break eventually there's going to be enough people to come in and take that back and there's nothing really going to be beneficial for you if you were to stay there so 
in World of Warcraft, there's a lot more of an isolated community, and a community that's really only brought together when it comes to organized PvP, a community that's only brought together when it comes to getting an end result. It's not really a community that's there to play with each other, that's there to be with each other, that's there to communicate with each other, because even back in Burning Crusade, you still had an overabundance of casual guilds that really were just there to be in a guild. And there were still the hardcore ones. Vanilla WoW was the perfect example of where the community went from niche to mainstream. Because Vanilla WoW was great. The communities were fantastic. The communities were very, very, very much in touch with each other and knew each other's existence. Where Burning Crusade sort of brought a more mainstream feel to the game and made it so there was a lot less niche feeling to the game and the overall community, making it less tight knit, making people not really recognize reputations of guilds that were around them. So as the game made itself larger, it, it as a result, as an MMO, made players feel less involved, made people feel more isolated. So in the end, when you come and compare a niche community with World of Warcraft, you end up really holding it in higher regard than World of Warcraft or any other mainstream game. I'm just using World of Warcraft because it's a massive game out there and a lot of people know about it. So in the end, what's my point? My point is most of the, the games that I really, really like either just launched in our smaller communities or our niche communities because you gain reputations, you know people within the community, you learn the community. The community is more overall tight-knit. They're more collective. They're not expansive. They're not isolated. You don't really get that problem where there's so many people that you feel lonely because there's so many people out there and you're just like what the hell is going on who am i supposed to talk to who's good at this game so on and so forth and a lot of that has to do with the casualness of mainstream games um a lot of hardcore games draw players away because of how hardcore they are and how much you have to learn about them in order to get into the game so you feel more invested in a hardcore game which makes you feel more invested in the community and with casual games, you can just hop in, hop out. So there is that struggle and that issue that lies within casual games, which are the most mainstream games. And I would even call League of Legends a casual game to some extent, because you look at Dota 2 and there's a lot more expansiveness within the mechanics. So when it comes down to it, what am I trying to say? The best communities I've ever been in are niche communities. And I'm really curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are regarding this because when it comes down to it, the communities that you guys are in are probably different than the communities I've been in. And when you talk about mainstream titles, we're always going to have different opinions because the communities that I ran into are going to be different from the communities you ran into and vice versa. But in the end, the whole collectiveness of an MMO falls into two categories, a tight-knit niche community or a mainstream isolated community. And by isolation, I don't mean that you're not gonna run into anyone. I don't mean that you're not going to run into a community. I'm just talking about as a community, as a collective community, you don't know what's out there. Where in a niche community, there's not really a lot of people, not really a lot of clans, so you'll learn that community a lot more. You learn a lot of sub communities in casual games that are more mainstream. You learn the entire community in a niche community in a niche game. So in the end, guys, leave a comment down below. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on communities as a whole within MMOs. And also leave a comment as well, including your favorite communities. Tell me which games you guys love to be in, love to communicate with, and which games you made your best friends, at least best gaming friends in. Anyhow, guys, my name is Zach Sharps from Lugo Entertainment. Make sure to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Lugo Entertainment. And also Twitter at Zach Sharps, which is the best way to get in contact personally with me and also follow sort of what I'm doing. Anyhow, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.